Star Wars skeleton crew. May the force be with you. An unnamed Jedi assisting four children on an adventure. That's a, that's one perspective. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new here, subscribe. If you like the video, push the like button. Let's get right into it. Skeleton Crew is an upcoming Lucasfilm Star Wars Disney Plus show series from John Watt, produced by Favreau and all those. Uh, and it's starring Jude Law as a Jedi Knight, recently revealed to be a Jedi. There are wonderful, as you can imagine, twists and turns and reveals and- uh, Are there four children? There are four children. Okay. <laughs> They are between the ages of 10 and 12. They get lost. They come from a, a kind of mysterious planet. They get blasted off and lost in the world of Star Wars. They're like, oh, we're in space, well, help me. And Jude Law uh, finds them, I suppose, and then help bring them home. What other instances occur in the series, we don't know. Everything is very tight-lipped. The release date is tight-lipped, supposed to be 2023, probably 2024. No one quite knows. They did show like a teaser at Star Wars Celebration. If you saw it, hit me up. But it all seems very exciting. I'm actually very excited for this. I love the Amblin feel that they're going for. Goonies in space, Stranger Things in space. Stranger Things is a fantastic show and it's really got that feel. If this series could emulate that in Star Wars, that'd be exciting. What it is, is a children's show, but it has very high stakes, right? It's all very real. The danger is real. And you don't get that all the time with kids stuff. And that's what a lot of movies, like children's movies are missing nowadays. Dark, dark. It's very exciting. But I was thinking about this because this series is going to connect to Mandalorian and to Ahsoka, the Mandoverse stuff, right? And we know that the pirate fame is going to show up probably, but there's going to be pirates in this one. And I was thinking about Thrawn because Thrawn is obviously this big bad that they're gearing towards. Like all roads lead to Thrawn. Thrawn's going to show up in Ahsoka. At some point in this series, is it plausible for Thrawn not to, I don't think Thrawn will be in the series, but could Thrawn's presence be felt in the series? Could they come across a ship? Could they come across pieces that lead directly to Thrawn? And with Jula playing a Jedi, could we possibly see more dark Jedi or Inquisitors going after Jude Law. Could this series start with Jude Law on the run from Inquisitors and that's how he finds them? We do know Jawas along the way. So, I mean, are we going to be back on Tatooine? Are these going to be off-world Jawas like we saw in Mandalorian with their red eyes? Are we going to get blue-eyed Jawas? Are they the good Jawas of the universe with blue eyes? That's how Star Wars works. Red is bad, blue is good. We got, we got this. We got it. All, we, we're all good. A lot to take in for for There's a very simplistic plot, and that's why I'm thinking there might be more to it. Although, although it is very much similar to The Mandalorian Season 1 and Season 2, where it was Din Djarin's got to take uh, Grogu, Baby Yoda, to his home world, or, and then eventually to a Jedi who ends up being Luke Skywalker. On top of that, could Luke Skywalker appear in this? I'm going to do that in another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. But until next time, may the force of others be with you.